You want your teenager to sleep better every night. Today, I'm going to share why teenagers need more sleep and the best sleep science strategy to help them consistently get a good night's sleep. Hi, I'm neuroscientist Dr. Ben Webb, and I have helped thousands of people to cultivate a healthy brain for a better life. Welcome to episode 23 of Better Brain, Better You. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It's really great to have you here with me. And if you're watching on YouTube and you want more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be notified about our new videos and live events. So why do teenagers need more sleep? Well, while they're asleep, their brain is actually performing surgery on itself, cutting out the brain pathways that it no longer wants and keeping the ones it needs. During the teenage years, the brain changes itself more than any other time in our lives. And this takes up huge amounts of a teenager's energy every night while they're asleep. So this brain process actually begins at birth, but really ramps up during the teenage years and finishes in our mid-twenties. During early childhood, the brain is busy making brain cells. It produces all of the brain cells we're ever going to need in our life and trillions of connections between those brain cells. And the connections between brain cells are actually called synapses. And synapses are what we use to learn. So the sheer number of synapses that we produce during our early childhood actually gives us the potential to learn pretty much anything that we'll we'll need in our life. And during the teenage years, the brain starts to refine and shape these brain pathways we need by securing and strengthening synapses that we frequently use and cutting out those ones that are rarely or never used. So this process is called synaptic pruning. So bedtime for teenagers isn't simply a time for their bodies to relax and recoup after a hard day of working, studying or playing. It's actually the glue that allows them not only to recollect their experiences, but also to remember everything that they've learned that day. So sleep isn't a luxury for them, their learning is consolidated and memories are formed while they sleep. It's as vital to their health as the air they breathe or the food they eat. In fact, good sleep helps teenagers to eat better and actually allows them to manage their stress better as well. And there are two basic types of sleep. Rapid eye movement sleep or REM sleep, which is when you dream, and non-REM sleep, which becomes deeper and deeper sleep as you progress through its four stages during the night. So deep non-REM sleep is what's critical for the teenage brain to mature and help teenagers reach their developmental milestones. Different parts of their brain mature at different rates and this maturation is driven by the intensity of the deep non-REM sleep on those brain areas. So deep sleep helps the back of the brain to mature first in teenagers in the sensory areas that allow a teenager to interact with the world and works its way forward with the last stop of this maturational journey finishing at the front of the brain. So this explains why rationality is the last thing to develop in teenagers. Their frontal lobe, which controls conscious rational thought, is the place in the brain to receive sleep's maturational treatment last. So just to emphasise why sleep is so important during the teenage years, not getting enough deep non-REM sleep increases a teenager's risk of developing major psychiatric and brain disorders like schizophrenia and autism. And many teenagers who go on to develop these disorders have actually had a history of deep sleep deprivation. So is this making sense why teenagers need more sleep? If it is, and you're watching on YouTube, write teen sleep in the comments below. So that's why teenagers need more sleep. But why do they have such different sleeping patterns to adults and their younger brothers and sisters, staying up to the middle of the night and then not rising until lunchtime the next day? Teenagers have a different circadian rhythm. That's their internal biological clock that regulates their sleeping and waking cycle. It's different to the younger siblings and their parents. And by 16 years old, the circadian rhythm has undergone a dramatic shift forward in time. And this means teenagers usually have no interest in sleeping at nine o'clock in the evening. They're still wide awake. By the time parents are getting tired, as a parent's circadian rhythm instructs them to sleep, perhaps at around 10 or 11 p.m., 
teenagers still need a few more hours before their brain actually begins to shut down. And this, I know from my own experience, leads to much angst and frustration as we try to negotiate with our teenagers about their sleeping patterns. So parents want teenagers to wake up at a reasonable hour in the morning, but teenagers are typically only able to initiate sleep some hours after their parents have hit the sack. And their adolescent brain still needs more sleep and time to complete the Caucasian cycle before it can wake up and operate efficiently without them being groggy and moody in the morning. So try to think about it this way. Asking a teenager to go to bed and fall asleep at 10pm is the Caucasian equivalent of a parent going to sleep at 7 or 8pm. And no matter how loud a parent shouts the order, and I certainly have, no matter how much they want to obey your instruction... The Caucasian rhythm of a teenager will not be persuaded to change, not until their brain matures into adulthood. So by the same token, asking the same teenager to wake up at seven the next morning with their brain firing on all cylinders and in a good mood is the equivalent of asking you, their parent, to do the same at four or five o'clock in the morning. So it's completely understandable that parents get frustrated since they might actually believe that their teenagers' sleeping patterns reflect a conscious choice rather than a biological process. But their sleeping patterns are not under their conscious control. They are biologically driven by their circadian rhythm. So how can parents help teenagers to sleep better and consistently get a good night's sleep? Well, you can actually train a teenager's circadian rhythm to get a consistently good night's sleep by giving them a regular and consistent sleep routine. Encourage them to go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time, no matter whether it's a weekend, weekday or a holiday. Don't let them stay up late during the week and pay their sleep debt back by lying in at the weekend. Sleep just doesn't work like that. The teenage brain needs a consistent sleep and wake time every day. So this will tune their brain to their sleep-wake cycle this does take commitment and consistency and will also take some time to implement. But we've worked with lots of parents using this strategy and those who are patient and consistent see the best results with their children. So if you stick with this strategy and you're consistent, your teenager will really reap the sleep benefits. So try this strategy at home and let me know how you're getting on. Comment below the video, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you'd like some additional sleep strategies, we put together a free course that uses the latest sleep science to help teenagers sleep better. And you can sign up for the course at ologyonlinecourses.com forward slash teen sleep course. That's ologyonlinecourses.com forward slash teen dash sleep dash course. And if this episode has been useful or helpful and you're watching on YouTube, please like, share this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you're listening to the podcast, please do leave us a review. They really help to spread the word and help more people tune in. So thanks so much for tuning in today. It's been great hanging out with you and I'll look forward to spending time with you next week.